Hey YouTube, welcome to Higher Math Solutions. This video tutorial is going to go over how to solve linear rational equations. Let's look at this example. 3 over x minus 5 plus 4 over x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 1 over x plus 2. To solve this rational equation, the first thing you want to do is factor any of the denominators that you have. This first denominator does not need to be factored, so I will just rewrite it. This next denominator, x squared minus 3x minus 10, needs to be factored. So two numbers that multiply to give me negative 10, but add to be negative 3, is negative 5 and positive 2. So its factors are x minus 5 and x plus 2. This one is factored now, so I'm going to move to my last denominator of x plus 2, which does not need to be factored. After you factor all your denominators, the next thing you're going to do is get your greatest common denominator. My greatest common denominator in this case is any different factors that you have. So one of my factors is x minus 5. Another factor that I see is x plus 2. And those are the only two different factors that I see. So x minus 5 and x plus 2 is my greatest common denominator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply each term by this denominator. If I multiply my first term by this denominator, the x minus 5s will end up canceling out. So I will be left with 3 and x plus 2. This will be what remains of the first term. Now I'm going to go to my second term. If I multiply my second term by this common denominator, the x minus 5s and the x plus 2s cancel out. So all I am left with is 4. And then on my last term, when I multiply the common denominator to my last term, the x plus 2 factors cancel out, and all I am left with is 1 and my x minus 5. After you multiply everything by your common denominator, you will not have any fractions left over. After you get here, now all you need to do is simplify the equation and simplify and solve for your x. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute any numbers I need through parentheses. So 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6. I will just rewrite plus 4 and the equal sign. And 1 times anything doesn't change the equation, so it will just remain x minus 5. I am now going to combine like terms. The only thing to combine on the left side is the 6 and the 4 to give me a 10. And then there's nothing to combine on the right side. Now I'm going to start isolating my x. I'm going to subtract x from both sides. And 3x minus x gives me 2x plus 10. And the x's on the right-hand side cancel out, and I'm left with negative 5. Now I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. On this side, I'm left with 2x, and the 10's cancel out. And then this equals to negative 5 minus 10, which is negative 15. And then my last step is to solve for x by dividing both sides by 2 and I get x equals negative 15 over 2. Thank you for watching Higher Math Solutions. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next week.